Tech speaking with Greg this morning from Alligator Energy. Greg, morning. Good morning, Andrew. Nice to see you. Look, big, uh, big development here for the Samfire Uranium Project with submission of this uh, paper document for the uh, in-situ recovery project. So just tell us a bit more about the significance of this. Yeah, look, the field recovery trial uh, will test in situ, in real-time situations, the extraction of uranium and recovery of uranium through a pilot plant, which we already have prefabricated in our yard. It's really there to determine the key parameters, operating parameters for a future production operation, uh, the in situ chemistry, the uranium recovery, the reagent usage, all of those factors, which will feed straight into a feasibility study, which we intend to start the second half of this year. Uh, it de-risks the project in terms of investors and uh, in particular will we'll cement our place as the next potential ISR uranium mine in South Australia. So that's it's very important for us in this step. And yes, we've submitted the PEPPER document, which is um, really the operating plan for the project. Tell us a bit more, Greg, about the, the approval process. We're dealing with three state government departments, the Department for Energy and Mining, the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, and the Department for Environmental Water. All of them are involved in the approval process led by the, the DEM. And um, in particular, we had extra meetings with them prior to submitting of this PEPPER document to make sure that we included the key things they, uh, they require and require to see. It really dictates all the key parameters we monitor and track through this process uh, in terms of protecting the environment and, uh, and making sure the groundwater works as we expect and the chemistry works as we expect. So it's very important we're engaged very closely with that group to get this approved uh, so that we can get on the ground as soon as we can for our shareholders and investors. And of course, you've got a, an experienced in-situ recovery team, uh, a number of them in-country. Well, we have uh, a, a lot of uh, experienced ISR employees, uh, commencing with Andrew Marsland smith our Chief Operating Officer, who, who, of course, has a broad experience managing these sort of operations and, and designing them. So uh, we have managers, technicians, environmental specialists, uh, hydrogeologists, including geology and field technicians based in Wyala, with four of them being local employees. Mm. Now, the further we advance this project, the more local Wyala-based employees we're going to engage on the project as we as we move forward. So it's uh, we're ready to go. We've been uh, um, waiting to, to, to get on the ground for this project, and we're very happy that we get to this next step. What's your, what's your timing around construction? Well, we believe, uh, we anticipate some months for the approval. There might be some additional queries, but if we can assume around mid-year, June, July, that we can be on the ground constructing the project and commissioning it and then operating it really for the third and fourth quarters up to uh, from August around to, say, November. We now can announce that we've selected Ahrens, the, a local Wyala-based group, to construct the project on site, take the prefabricated plant, do the civil works, the bunding, the rubber lining needed and construct it on site. Look, they'll engage, uh, well, they already have uh, engaged in a range of 25 or so specialists and trades, both of their own plus subcontracts based in Wyala. So again, uh, with the, the, the issues and concerns happening in Wyala at the moment, we, we really have a, a team and of our own plus uh, subcontractors ready to go based in Wyala to construct this project and take it forward. So we're very pleased to be able to Advance this next step. Greg, look, just while I've got you, of course, last week in Canada, you were there for uh, for PDAC. What's the what's the longer term vibe around uranium? Well, uh, it's still very, very good. So both Canada and the US, both Democrats and Republicans, are fully supportive of nuclear. There is new nuclear under construction in in, in Canada. Um, they uh, obviously have the, some of the largest uranium mines in highest grade. So uh, we were presenting at uh, seminars with a range of uranium producers, developers uh, at similar stage that we are. We had a good reception. We met a range of new investors, which is good. The long-term price for uranium is still around $80 a pound. The short-term price is varying between 63, 64 and up to 74. That's really the clearing market. It's only there for about 20% of uranium produced, 80% of uranium sold under long-term contract direct with utilities. And that's where we're targeting our production for the future. So it was a very, very uh, worthwhile exercise to meet some new investors and shareholders over there. Good to speak, Greg. Thanks very much. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for your time.